500 different things can cause hallucination. Doesn't mean it's neurological. It does if one of the other organ recipients also had a brain issue. Did he just drop his hands? No, none of them had brain issues. His pupils dilated, his pupils were fixed, there was a twitch. He got hit in the head, he died. No mystery. That was your point yesterday. You live, you learn. Who shot this? The guy who runs a gym has a camera, uploads the nasty stuff online. I can't see the dead guy's face. I can't see his face. I can't see the twitch, I can't see the pupils. We know the tennis player had a heart problem. We can maybe tie that to the tuba player's lungs and then somehow tie both those things to the construction worker's liver and then possibly meander over to Frank's pancreatic failure. But nothing causes simultaneous brain and heart problems. Cancer made no sense. The head and heart make less than no sense. That makes no sense. Um, I know. I was making a point. Oh, good. I thought you were an idiot. Why are you talking? Oh, with the, the guy doing manual labor can't have an opinion? I might be a genius who just happens to have a passion for fixing coffee machines. No, I'm obviously not, but that's rude to make assumptions about people. Donor's history came up clean. Huh? Huh? Did he just laugh? No, no, I sneezed. He's a genius coffee repairman. Coffee repairman wears Argyle socks? I thought I already talked about not judging. What kind of idiot wears Argyle socks with construction boots? Uh, I'm not an idiot. I'm just... I'm not good at disguises. Who is he? He's apparently a very bad private investigator. Uh, why is he pretending to fix the coffee machine? Because I wanted to find out what you guys found out before I find out what he found out. So I can find out if I need a private investigator. So, new. Uh, donor has no history of unusual infections, no uh, international travel in the 12 uh. months. Well, seriously, that's how I sneeze. He was in Madrid in the Bahamas. Credit card receipts showed no in girlfriend paid. There is no girlfriend. She was his high school sweetheart. High school sweetheart is married to his best friend. I know. Shh. She had a kid four years ago. Timing fits. She's still pretty hot, though. You found out anything medical? Kid has a tummy ache. Also, the dead guy was exposed to mercury, mold, and hydrous perchloric acid because their sex pad was next to a garage that was demolished after those toxins were found. Oh, yeah, that will be $2,300. I'll get you a check. No, I don't take checks. You think I'm going to stop payment? Aren't you? Of course I am. $2,300 is insane. Now, actually, that price includes footage of the boxing match from four different angles. 30% of the crowd paid by credit card. I got their names. Four of them had digital cameras, which I composited like NASA did for the pics of Mars. You know, the rovers and all that. What if a kid wants ice cream? Oh, sign outside says closed. Dr. O'Shea's not right for you. What'd you find out? Why are you investigating him? Because I need to know if he lends money interest-free. What did you find out? I want some ice cream! Not until you learn to read! You're supposed to trust friends. I don't know the guy. I've got no logical reason to. to be his friend. Have you never seen an after-school special that is part of the pleasure of friendship? Trusting without absolute evidence and then being rewarded for that trust. You're taking pictures of a guy who's having an affair with his own sister, and you're lecturing me about the rewards of trust. There are two types of people that hire me. No, actually, there are three types of people that hire me, but the third type's irrelevant to the point I want to make. Do you have a special rate plan for being a pain in the ass? One type wants to find out that they're right. One type wants to find out that they're wrong. Which type am I? You're the third type. You lead with the irrelevant types? Your type doesn't care if you're right or wrong, because they've hired me to investigate the wrong person. That's an actual type. You want me to check out Wilson? You want to find out if he's... How do you know about Wilson? What do I do for a living? You mean checking me out? Have I been paying for that? Um, so far, you haven't paid for anything. You want to find out he's pining. You want to find out if there's something about him that will tell you he's going to come back, or something you can use to make him come back. Is there? No, no, there's nothing. Sorry.
That will be $900. Wilson's got a new job. Hasn't started yet, but. So who are we following? See that lady up there? You point at the target? No, I'm following the one halfway in between that point and that point. Oh, pretty. Who hired you? No one, I just like her. You're stalking her? No, no, I followed her out of that bookstore back there. You are stalking her, just not for very long. So what else can you tell me that I might care about? He attends this grief counseling thing twice a week where they go around the room and cry about who's dead. Cameron's been to his house several times. They just talk about death and losing loved ones. turns her head, she's gonna see that we're walking in the wrong direction. No, 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 she won't. I'm very nondescript. Well, I'm not. Well, then you stay four feet behind me. How do you know what they're talking about? I'm in the same grief counseling group. I recently lost my mother. You get laid more often if you told them you lost a kid. I didn't lose a kid. If you're a PI, you can't lie? I can't lie, I'm just not all that good at it. Uh, Dr. Cuddy's been over to Wilson's twice and phoned a bunch of times. Foreman called him. And the rest of the time, Wilson's been reading meditation books and magazines about restoring barns. Are you following me? No. No. Are you lying? Yes. No. Lesson one, commit. It's making me uncomfortable. Sorry. You're very pretty. More uncomfortable. She's not your type. Your type is much stupider than her. What did Wilson say about me? Oh, you've never come up. The grief counseling or in the other? Anywhere, I got three bugs in his home and one in his car. If I didn't know you, I wouldn't even know you existed. Which is good news. Only two things you ignore, things that aren't important and things you wish weren't important, and wishing never works. 